Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's January the 20th and we're looking at the first part of Matthew chapter 14, just a small passage there. Um, at that time Herod the Tetrarch heard of the fame of Jesus and said unto his servants, This is John the Baptist, he's risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show themselves forth um, in him. For Herod had laid hold on John, and bound him, and put him in prison, for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife. John had said unto him, It is not lawful for thee to have her. And when he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude, because they counted him as a prophet. So here we have this man. He's the descendant of Herod the Great, and he is... Um, had a, the tetrarch. A tetrarch is somebody that has a fourth of the kingdom. Had it had just a fourth of the kingdom of Judah to rule over. And John the Baptist had witnessed to him. But in what way had he witnessed? Well, he had witnessed to him in relation to his sinful living. Had the tetrarch had take Philip, had taken Philip's wife Herodias to his own wife uh, while he was alive. And that meant that he was committing adultery. And so John, being faithful to the Lord and to the law, had told him to his face that he shouldn't have Philip's wife. He should put her away. Now, <clears throat> Herod was rather put out by this, but Herodias was even more put out, and she plotted the murder of John. So the opportunity came eventually when Herod had a birthday and uh, the daughter of Herodias danced before them. Now it doesn't say it was the daughter of Herod but it was the daughter of Herodias and presumably it was the daughter of Herodias and Philip that danced and of course we all know what these dances were like. They were semi-clad and it was very erotic. And Herod was rather excited and he promised that he would give to her half of his kingdom. And she could ask for anything that she wanted and he would give it to her. Now she had been promised, she had been coached by her wicked mother to ask for the head of John the Baptist. This was Herod's great moral dilemma and this was the great moral dilemma in which he fell it says in verse 9 the king was sorry he was sorry you know he would had nothing against John from the point of view of murdering him however because he made the oath and because of the people which sat there at his birthday meal he commanded that John should be beheaded and John was beheaded there and then and his prayer his head was brought on a large plate and it was given to the girl and she took it and gave it to her mother the disciples of John came and they took the body and the head and they buried it and then they went and told Jesus this is a sad sad day not sad for John it was a glorious end to a glorious ministry he had sealed his testimony in blood just as the Lord himself would do very soon but it was a sad end for Herod Herod never lasted much longer after this he'd faced the greatest moral dilemma of his life and failed what he should have done is he should have said no that's just murder he was afraid of the people he was afraid of the oath that he had made and he was afraid of the people that sat at meat he didn't he didn't want to be known as the one that broke an oath. He wanted to be the one who kept his word. Sadly in life, if we, if we make a promise 
that we're unable to keep, then the honourable thing is to say, I'm sorry, but I, I cannot keep that oath. But he never did go back on his word, and theref therefore he executed the greatest prophet that had ever lived. And this man goes down in infamy, infamy, Herod the Tetrarch, the murderer of John the Baptist. My password for today is that little phrase in verse 5. He feared the multitude. Herod was, Herod was a great man in some ways, but he failed, failed in this. He failed in this. He made a promise that he had to keep. And, and he allowed his adulterous wife to lead him into murder. What a great sadness. Well, God bless you. It's great to talk to you. Look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now. <clears throat>